I so I was scrolling through Roblox one day and came across this random ass game with a weird name and I was like hmm usually games with a weird name and just a symbol as the logo are pretty good so I go and check it out right I get into the game I go in with kinda low expectations cause there was like 17 players playing at the time and then I get in and it's just like Okay, let me explain. This is supposed to be a guide, but also a showcase of stuff, I guess. I think I think you spawn over here. So once you're over here, just come over here. There should be a quest marker. Talk to this this dude right here. He gives you quests. Uh, you can just do all of his quests. They're not actually that hard. There is something I recommend about his quest, though, and that's to... Uh, well, yeah, make the bronze dagger, because you have to, but to right away get the bronze sword, because it's just so much better. Like, look at the stats. More range, uh, and double the power for a little bit of attack speed. Yeah, just just pro tip right there. After you do all of those quests, you, uh, what I like to do is um, come up here. <coughs> get this guy's quest because you need to do this quest to do that and I'll talk about that in a sec there's two quests total for this one is kill I think it's like five bandits and then there's another quest that's gathered 22 pale leather which is what they drop and it's not one per drop it's one to three so it won't take too long um, I think I don't know if you have to be insight level 10 or something uh, this is insight, by the way. It's like your main level and how uh, high your stats can go. Right now, it's capped out at 40 because the game recently uh, just released, pretty much. <laughs> okay. But yeah, you just after doing that quest and getting insight level 10, you just want to come over here and do this quest or this dungeon thing. There's usually a gate here. You can press E to enter it, and if it's not working, just rejoin the game. But, shit, there's something I forgot. Down there at the blacksmith, if you go to the shop for 500 gold, you can get the uh, best armor for this area. Uh, or you can just stick with leather. It doesn't really matter, because this is pretty easy. So you're going to be like in it, and it's going to, I think, teleport you to a different place, because it's not, it doesn't look like this. And... These things are spawn points, by the way, once you're in the dungeon. This game is pretty forgiving in that regard and stuff. So there's going to be a few guys across this path that are going to be not difficult, really, if you know how to dodge and shit. Uh, all you have to do is dodge back and not get hit by their one M1 they do. And then you can just charge in and shit on them. Especially if you have armor and good weapons, it's really easy. But yeah, once you're done, I think there's like this little white orb that either spawns here or over here. That's how you leave the dungeon and you'll get teleported to this side. You're going to want to activate that bonsai tree. And it's how you get like... Oh, it's how you TP equip abilities and have storage. So this is storage. I have close to... Uh, two spells. Show those. I'll show where those are, those are later. And once you're here, I don't know if you'll have crafting level 12, but if you do have crafting level 12, you can get um, iron armor. Best way to farm crafting, by the way. Well, crafting vitality and strength all at the same time is just to grind bandits, because you will get hit, trains vitality, you will do kill them, train strength, and you will craft leather caps, because they give the most XP. And it's really good for grinding. If you just want to do crafting and not train the other two just make bronze swords that's pretty good too because smelting gives crafting xp but yeah once you're crafting level 12 and 15 strength i believe you can get the uh iron stuff which is just down here you can just follow this path if you want to take the really long route or you can just come down here like this and roll down this mountain Make sure you have bronze pickaxe, not the old one. I should have said that, but, I mean. 
My bad. Yeah, just path comes to here, goes into this uh, cave. This is also where uh, salt is. I think it's there's a recipe that needs salt, but right now foraging is kind of stupid. And you need cooking level like 12. And I finished the game and mine's only at 1. Well, I wouldn't say finished. I don't have max stats yet, but yeah. Just start mining some iron. And I th it's 6 iron per ingot. So this grind will take quite a bit longer than um, getting bronze stuff. But it is definitely worth it because your power like doubles or even triples maybe, I don't know. Actually I think it's less than doubles. Maybe close 50 power, but it is definitely really worth it. Uh, you really after iron stuff, the game's pretty straightforward. Um, there is this bonsai that's up here that you definitely want to get if you ever want to get coal. I can just show you where that is real quick. Might as well show you the spell location too if I'm right here. So yeah, it's this bonsai right here. You're going to be teleporting here a ton. It's a really important part of the game. Coal is, so, you're going to go through this tunnel, and once you get out of the tunnel, you're going to want to turn, so when you're out of the tunnel, you'll be where my cursor is, you're going to want to turn left when you're coming out, walk forwards a little bit, and turn left again, and then go straight, there's this little shack behind this part of the fortress, and coal is just a little bit farther than the campfire is, so yeah, that's where you get coal for steel. I think you need like crafting 20, no, crafting 22 maybe for steel sword and 24 for steel greatsword. I'm not sure, I'll check it all at the uh, closer to the end of this video. I'm not going to go over where distilled water is, I don't, distilled waters is, I don't really want to spoil that and it's not that good, it's just this spell. It's healing. But no one wants no damn healing. Just eat food. So yeah, this is where the fire spell is. I should have said that's where I was going. In case anyone was wondering. But yeah, this is important. Get this thing. Pretty cool. It looks pretty awesome for such a small developing team. Being able to put this much detail into stuff like this. So yeah, then you're going to... I mean, if you don't have rogue armor, you're not going to want to kill yourself ever. But, uh... It's fast travel. Oh, yeah, I, f I forgot to mention. When you have the scroll, just put it in your hotbar and use it. And once you've used it and it says you learned it down here, you can just sit here, go to abilities, and it fire type, crashing embers. And press this plus, and then boom. You got it. Here, let me just... There we go. Uh... Yeah, now that's... It's kind of pretty straightforward from here. Except... Progression in the game, actually. That's... I definitely need to go over that. So if we go back to Subjugation Stronghold... You can see there's that big ass building, and I think a lot of people don't go farther than the big ass building. So they just do this. Well, I that's what I did, so I want to make sure no one else does it. I never got I never got past this part. Like I I would beat it. I was just wondering, what do I do now? What do I do now? So this is that. Another tip is these guys. What the hell, you survived that? Uh, they dropped the titanium fragments needed for brute armor. Very important. It's this this armor set. It's the max armor in the game right now. But I think they're going to add like plasma core armor soon. And you need plasma cores to make the sword. Plasma cores to make the sword I'm using right now. It's super OP. It's like end game. And once you get past steel, it's like this is a super grindy. You have to really commit to wanting to actually play the game 
if you want to finish it and get cold steel because yeah this game is it's not balanced yet it's in super early 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 access like came out three days ago I think or something like that there's coal in case you were wondering just over there and then I'm gonna actually dodge these guys I don't feel like fighting actually no you're scary I don't want really musket and you're lonely so I'm gonna kill you uh, yeah once you head up uh, finish that head up this path and to the right there's like a bunch of the more OP versions like this is where you grind titanium fragments because there's these sword people that are way better than the little dagger people you saw over there and there's a ton of muskets it's ridiculous but it's super easy if you just kinda with steel stuff generally you are gonna get steel stuff before you even get brute armor so you shouldn't even worry about it till steel unless you're like just speedrunning these stats hold up wait what the there no? ah oh, yes all these like this this is from my sword plus 270 god damn 65 armor 40 resistance really good so then you're gonna once you're at the end of this bridge this bonsai here signifies that you've made it to the second bandit camp this one isn't like the first at all uh, I still I still one shot these guys I don't think I am one one shot them yeah they're they're quite a bit tougher I'd say th maybe no a ton tougher. like I don't I don't even know what I could put as a times on it but very much this is like the end game way to farm strength by the way this is what you do it's kinda sad it takes a while but like very very end game you'd be here farming this Ah, oh, shit I'm getting jumped immediately as soon as I start the goddamn thing anyways yeah I finally found it uh, I probably killed every attempt to be honest but yeah I figured out how to get the fort why is this Jesus so god kill yourself oh yeah look at this dope ass animation oh yeah straight through the stomach pull the sword out he's dead killed in action all right yeah so from bandit camp to get to the fort you just follow this path this is definitely not the second time I've done this because it's not it's not the second time it's the fourth nope not the fourth it's the fifth maybe the sixth yeah imagine I went the wrong way okay yeah you want to get to this one this bonsai it's called hollow's arch if you already have it uh, just go here this right path I I I followed this path but then like broke off of it and then never ended up getting at hollow's fort speaking of immediately oh wait no I'm on it am I isn't there a lantern in this game oh yeah I deleted it so yeah I'm just mentally uh, stupid <coughs> we don't don't want to say that word that's that's not a, not a good word just following this one path to the right of hollow's arch This is pain and suffering to find because I'm just, I've got a horrible sense of dirt. Uh, I'm close. I think it's up that hill. Yeah, yeah, there. There's that little, if you see it, that is a little light. That means you're at the fort. And there is a guard here. You bum. Kill yourself. Oh shit, he's immortal. Immortality bug, run. Run. I don't like this bug. I'm gone. Is that a gun guy? Yes it is, thank god he won't chase me. And then... Okay, where'd the bonsai go? Over here, maybe? Farther down the path? 
Aha, I found it. And now you're at the fort. Anyways, good luck. Uh, there is another spell in the game right now. Distilled Waters. It is a shit heal spell. But I recommended getting it just cause. And daggers are getting buffed soon. Uh, uh... Uh, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. I don't really know what else to do or say. Oh yeah, also, one important thing. Uh, you can resolve all your problems in this game by just getting to 10 fishing skill. It's the best way to resolve. In fact, your real life problems too. Your entire family dies? Just get 10 fishing skill, bro. God, it's not that hard anyways. Goodbye.